Hey there, I'm Colin Weston, host of the Mod Golf Podcast, where we talk with the influencers, entrepreneurs, disruptors, and innovators who are shaping the future of golf. So this is our video portion of the podcast on our YouTube channel that uh, we just have a quick chat with, uh, with our guests here. And to learn more about this fantastic conversation and everything that we do, uh, at the end, I'll give you the link so you can go listen to the podcast itself. So we're going to have a quick chat here with Tin Tran, who is the founder of Transrover. And uh, I love the story. We've already done the, the podcast, so there's a bit of a spoiler yeah. here. That We had a great conversation earlier, so we're going to be nice and quick here. So, uh, so Tin, hey, welcome to the Mod Golf Podcast video version. And tell us a little bit about what you got going on with Transrover. So Transrover essentially is uh, for any golfer out there, if you play golf, you have to have a golf bag to carry your golf equipment. Uh, but if you need to push it, you need a push cart, like a click gear or sun mountain or back boy. Everybody knows what those are. Um, but if you have Transrover, you can do both. You put your clubs and your gear into one unit. And in seconds, you can convert that into a three wheel push cart and you can push it around up to the riding cart, fold it back up, and strap it back on there if you don't want to walk. So it's a perfect solution for those, any golfers really walking or non-walking, uh, walking to store all your, all your gear. Amazing. So like I said, we're not going to do a spoiler here. We've been through your entrepreneurial journey in the podcast episode. Uh, but I love your, your backstory and, uh, perhaps we can just kind of sprinkle in a, a little bit of, of, of that. So as a, let's focus on, on entrepreneurship here that, uh, where you started out, in fact, you were not born in the U S you actually came over to, at a young age. So why don't you to kind of talk about, talk about that very briefly and, uh, and then that aha moment that you had with, with trans Rover. Sure. I, uh, grew up in, uh, in Vietnam, um, didn't know anything about golf or English for that matter. For me, here in front of you, talking to you in English is quite an accomplishment. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I would just look at you and laugh when I first came here. Right. And you probably laugh at me, uh, not understanding me. But when I came here, my sport of choice was uh, uh, basketball. Didn't care for golf. I had uh, some friends in, uh, in uh, high school uh, and also later in college uh, play a lot of golf, but always inviting me to go to the range with them. And uh, I never did until one day when I was recovering from an ankle injury from basketball. I say, what the heck? Let's just, let's just go. Let's put a hat on, hide my face, <laughs> get back out there, uh, hit some balls because it's embarrassing uh, playing golf at a young age. Uh, and I was, I was a stud. You know, I can jump high and run fast. You know, it's, <laughs> golf's not for me. Right. But once I got out there, um, I use uh, one of the renters' club from the uh, from the pro shop. First hit, I swear to God, uh, clocked it right in the middle of that metal hybrid um, persimmon and metal inserted plate right in the middle, and the ball just took off. And I told my friend, "Hey, you guys see that? It went further than you guys." I'm like, "No," and I'm like, "Look, watch, watch." And I, for the life of me, I could do it again. Um, so that frustrated me and it humbled me. It's like, how can it be so hard? And then. Um, it's still hard now. I'm a low single handicap, but it's still hard now, you know, so you hit some, but that's, that's, that's the game. That's how I got into it. And then um, later I just found like, there's no way this has to be the solution to carry my golf clubs and the balls and everything else. There's got to be a simpler one than a golf bag. You've got stand bag, Sunday bags, staff bag, cart bags, you got two wheelers, three wheelers, four or five different manufacturers making push cards, trying to scream at me with yellows and greens and bright colors. You know, so there's got to be a better solution than this. So I just solid, uh, consolidated the whole thing into one. If you were to take a push card and a golf bag and marry them, and they'll have the golden child as a trans rover. And that's what you got. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And what I love about what you've done as an entrepreneur is something that I see a lot of entrepreneurs don't do. And that is they actually create a solution looking for a problem. The fact you've spent, this is not an overnight success with Transrover. You've been at this for how many years now, Tim? Oh, thanks for asking me again. <laughs> um, 
10 years. 10 years. Over 10 years. 10 hey, years don't think I mean that as a bad thing. A that, that, that's a, that, that is a badge of honor, the fact that, as we know, now that we're actually video, I couldn't describe this, of course, on the podcast, but most people think that entrepreneurship is, is like this, right, on a curve. And we know full well the journey is like this, right? It's back and forth oh, and yes, it's yes. all over the place. And, uh, and, if, and if you don't have that idea that is strong enough, and bright enough to carry you through those curves on the dip, you're going to give up. Uh, it's very easy to give up. So uh, I never did because I believe in it wholeheartedly. There's no way I'm going to give up on this thing. Absolutely. And I'm super excited about where you are now and uh, where you're poised to unleash Trans Rover on the world. And uh, I, I love your product. And like I said, I, I rarely do this. I, you've listened to a lot of the podcasts that I know you have. Yes. And I do not do infomercials. I do not do branded podcasts. So uh, the fact that it's about your story and it just happens to be the Trans Rover comes along for the ride on your entrepreneurial journey here. So you know what? I'm going to leave it there because we, uh, we don't want to have too many spoilers here of all the good stuff that uh, you talked about on the podcast episode itself. So with that, before I tell people where they can actually listen and look down below, of course, to, uh, to actually have a link to the podcast episode, why don't you quickly tell people where they can learn more about TransRover? Sure. TransRover is on transrover.com. Very simple. T-R-A-N-S-R-O-V-E-R. TransRover, all one word. Dot com and you can find me on twitter facebook and instagram and linkedin awesome. there you go awesome all right well you want to hear more of this amazing conversation that i actually had with tin tran founder of trans rover please listen to the podcast we're easy to find also www.mod.golf is where you can find all of our episodes and the link below will click you right through to the amazing conversation that i had with tin Thanks so much. All right. Awesome. Take care. See hey. you there. All right. All Bye right. Now. Bye. Awesome. Boom. There we go. All right.